Welcome back. Next, let's take a look at the Azure portal. The Azure portal is the central hub for managing your Azure resources. With the Azure portal, you can easily create virtual machines, web apps, databases, and so on. Whether you're a developer, an IT professional, or a data scientist, the Azure portal provides you an intuitive experience for you to manage your cloud infrastructure. Let's get started. The Azure portal is the most popular way of accessing your resources on Azure. The Azure portal is accessed through the web browser and it provides you with a graphical user's interface and an easy to use portal for multiple purposes such as creating services, managing your resources, receiving notification, viewing Azure documentations, and so on. You can access the Azure portal through the URL portal.azure.com. Think of the Azure portal as the go-to place whenever you want to create resources, manage your resources on Azure. Now let's explore the Azure portal to have a feel of what it looks like. Again, the URL to log in here is portal.azure.com. As you can see, I'm logged into my portal here. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the portal. First, we have the search box here. The search box is useful as it helps you to quickly find things. So you're able to search for any services or resources that you want through the search box. For example, if I want to create a resource group, I can go ahead and type in resource group here and click on resource group. Next, we have the cloud shell. The cloud shell is a command line interface where you can type in your PowerShell commands, your CLI commands, and your bash shell commands as well. We'll learn more about the cloud shell as we progress through the course. Next tab is the notification tab. The notification tab helps you keep track of things that you're doing in Azure. It notifies you of what is going on when you're creating a resource, for example, or you're deleting a resource and so on. Next, we have directories and subscription. This allows you, for example, to switch between multiple directories. And it is also used to customize the look and feel of your Azure portal. For example, I can change my menu behavior here from docked to fly out. And if I like as well, I can change my Azure portal theme, or I can have it be replaced with light or configure it to your ad content. Next is support and troubleshooting. You can use this to raise a support ticket if you're having any Azure issue that you would like to get support on. To do this, you're going to click on help and support and the rest of the process is very straightforward. Next is feedback. This is useful when you have a feedback for the Azure team about Microsoft Azure. So you can use this to notify Microsoft about the feedback that you like them to have about Azure. Next, from here, you are able to see the user that you're currently logged in as. Depending on the user that you're logged in as on Azure, you are able to carry out certain tasks or you might be restricted from performing certain tasks. And lastly, to the left of the screen, we're able to use this to do a couple of things. Things such as viewing the resources that you've created. If I would like to view all the resources that I've created, I can come to all resources. I can also use this to view all the services that we have on Azure by clicking on all services. So this will simply list out all the Azure services that we have. Uh, if you like to create a service, you can also create it from here. And if you wish to delete services or to delete the resources that you have, you can also do that from here.